I'm late for work. Wait, I got an invention for that. And welcome back to Unnecessary Invention. It is safe to say that electric scooters are absolutely taking over. You can scoot around bigger cities now by renting them by the minute. So I thought, why not be a little bit productive while you're scooting to work and get some work done? So today, we're gonna make a stand-up desk for an electric scooter. The amazing people over at Swagtron sent me this scooter. So I'm gonna bust this open and use it to design the desk. It looks like an absolute beast. I'll go ahead and throw a link down in the description so you can check it out for yourself. So the game plan for today is, is to make a stand-up desk for this scooter. What we're gonna do is cut the desk out of wood for this using a jigsaw and then I'm still kind of figuring out exactly how I'm gonna connect it to the scooter itself but I think cutting a pocket around the shaft of the scooter and then having some sort of device that holds the front to the handlebars so that it doesn't have any movement when I put stuff on it. Plus, I'm sure I'm gonna use the 3D printer for pieces here and there. I think those will come up as we go, but other than that, I think we should head to Lowe's and go buy some materials. Let's go do that. So one thing is that I don't know how to drive a car, so I'm gonna get Matt005 to help out. Shut up and let's go. And drive me over. And I've got the materials. So here is what I picked up. So I got this big old piece of wood. It's 20 inches by 48. So if I mess up, I'll have a chance to make a second one. Then I decided to go with some paracord. So this is what we're gonna use to attach the end of the board up into the handles. Drill bit, more blades, cause I have no idea how much it needs. Now let's get to work. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut the board down to size and I'm gonna double check that I still wanna do it. I am the king of putting something down and not knowing where I put it. I got it. So we got 18 inches right about here. I think I'm gonna up it a little bit, maybe to like 20 or 22. That way it goes a little bit past the handlebars. Let's go ahead and measure this to length and then we'll get it cut up. Always settle for good enough. If you were wondering what kind of woodworking experience I have. I ain't never done this before. So let's have some fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the wood down to length, and then we'll go ahead and cut the corners out. Now that I have this cut, let's go design a bracket that I'm gonna 3D print, and it's gonna give us a nice even curved edge on each of the corners so that they all match up. So first I'm gonna start by making a square that is going to represent the final piece of wood so that when I make the bracket, it is just the right size. And then we're gonna create another rectangle that hangs over the piece of wood so that it latches onto the sides of the wood. And then from there, we wanna create another rectangle. So here we're gonna get rid of the section that we don't want, and that will allow us to then curve this angle. I think we pretty much have it. The only other thing we wanna do is add knobs on each end so that it sits square and doesn't go anywhere. Let us hit the 3D printer. Here is that little bracket. Put this on the corner, measure it out, and then hopefully I'll have even corners all the way throughout. There we go, not too bad. Let's stencil them out. Time to cut out the corners. Hopefully it goes smooth. Cause I want it to look good. And we've got rounded corners. So now that I have the board cut to size, I got the corners rounded out, I need to figure out exactly what method I'm gonna use to attach it to the rod here. Oh, by the way, parental supervision required. No thanks. All right, let's sketch that out on the board. The only difficult part I see is making a smooth enough curve that it fits properly. I could also add a second one underneath that drills in to help support it. I am the master of all jigsaw cutting. Okay, I've got the hole cut now. So let's see how it fits on the scooter and if there's gonna be any adjustments that we're gonna need to make to kind of make it more secure. So let's see how this attaches. It fits, but I don't know if it's gonna stay. I think my next plan of attack is going to be to 3D print a bracket that goes here that the piece of wood can rest on. I think I'm just gonna design and 3D print that off camera and I will see you in just a bit. And just like that, 
the bracket is over at the 3D printer. So the next thing we're gonna figure out is how exactly I want the paracord to attach to the end of the board and then up to the handlebars so that the front end has support as well. So my first thought is to drill a few holes here and that way the paracord will go through and sort of zigzag across up to the handlebars back through and another knot on the other end. I always second guess myself, what should I do? I'm feeling so butch with all of these power tools today. I can't wait for the comments that are telling me how poorly I'm using these. Well, just a message to all y'all. I don't give a f We got one side down, let's do the other one. So for the look I'm going for, I only did three holes and I just realized that I need to do four. Okay, so we're threaded through the holes. So basically, they're gonna be knotted off and then these are just gonna go and flip right over the handlebars. The bracket is still finishing up 3D printing. So while I have that time, I am going to go ahead and sand the desk down. Three power tools in one video. Now I need to figure out how to turn it on. We are buttery smooth now. That made a huge difference. Let's do a quick check on our bracket 3D printing. Okay. Looks like we've got 12 more minutes. However, I think I need to take a quick scooter break. Let's rip it. It's got a bell, it's official. Flip flops are not the shoe of choice for an electric scooter. But man, this thing ripped. <laughs> Back to work. Actually, it looks like the 3D printer's done. Let's go check that out. All right, so we should be able to glue this onto the scooter. Need to make sure this has enough room. Okay, we can go up just a little bit higher. So I think I'm gonna wanna have it lightly tilted up. So I'm gonna lace the paracord through the holes in the front to create a loop so that it attaches to the handlebars. I tied a knot on the underside so it isn't going anywhere. I got the paracord all cut and tied, so I decided to go with this pattern here. It goes in one hole, loops through one, and up out to the handlebar for the other loop. I think we're doing pretty good. So we got the 3D bracket that's holding it down there. Then we got the paracord holding it to the handlebars. I think we might be there. Woo! Why am I so smart? Every time, it's gorgeous. I'm ready for work. Now we're ready for a test drive. I thought if I was heading to work, I would uh, put on a little better attire and press the boss. The only issue is that it's about 100 degrees out, so I'm sweating my ass off. But I've got the scooter loaded up with everything you need for work, so let's take it for a test ride. Let's go to work. All right, first ride's a success. Let's hit the streets. I told Matt004 the TPS reports were due immediately. This is why you need to multitask. Well, hot damn. The commuter scooter is so much more of an unnecessary success than I imagined when we started this project. I am already one of the most productive people, but man, with this thing, it's a game changer. I'm also sweating profusely in this suit right now. So, I think I'm gonna call it a day. As always, check out the official product photos over on Instagram, and... There are too many cars going by. Hi. Hey, hon. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. That is going to be it for today. I'll see you at the next invention. And one more thing. The commuter desk, it gets 10 Swagtrons out of 10. That's it.